Okay, good morning. I have got my coffee. We are gonna kick it back super duper old school today. I have not done one of these videos in years on my channel, but I feel like it with, with it being the new, I tongue twisted, <laughs> but I feel like it, why can I not say that? I feel like with it being the new year, you know, a lot of us are trying to eat healthier, bunkies included. We're gonna try and incorporate way more veggies and healthier meal options. So I hope you guys are excited for that and want that as well. And so I was like, you know, let's do like a what I eat in a day. And I'm gonna take you guys through breakfast, lunch, and dinner and share with you like a couple little recipes that we have found that we love that are healthier. Also, I wanna say a big thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. I'm excited to show you guys what I got in my order this time, but it's gonna be a really fun day. We're gonna get started on breakfast. My dad actually has been making Bunky and I this every time we go home. Bunky loves it. Yeah, he's he's the inspiration behind this. He is, but we both were like, wait, this is so good. So I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna have a healthier, good fiber breakfast <laughs> Little, and, and a sprinkle of fruit that's right okay so we're gonna make some oatmeal normally in my oatmeal i add lots of butter and brown sugar but we are not gonna do that this time we're gonna make it like a healthy version of oatmeal so i'm gonna get some water boiling and then go ahead and just make this like the one minute oatmeal and then i'll show you how we're gonna top it Well, he always laughs at me because, you know, of course I never measure anything. And every time I make oatmeal, I feel like I make enough to feed like 10 people because, you know, I should have just measured out enough for two. But I just pour it in there until I get the consistency that I like. And my trick is, if you feel like there's too much water, I'll just let it like simmer on like a medium to like medium low. And eventually all that water will like evaporate. Yeah. You've got a real uh, feel for the oatmeal making. That's because. I, I don't know how you do it, because I feel like it's one of those things like, you know how you make rice, like it's very specific. Yeah. You need this much water to this much rice. Somehow though, it always comes out right. You it know how? Comes out good. Cause like, my dad loves oatmeal and he made it for us mm -hmm. like growing up my whole life. Like we had it all the time. Yeah. So I feel like over the years, I've just like perfected my little oatmeal making. It's like once it gets to like this consistency, I'll turn it down to like a little bit low and just let it cook for a few minutes and then it's gonna be perfect. Cause nobody likes watery oatmeal. That's my like biggest pet peeve. No, that's definitely like not the way to go about it. Okay, so no butter or brown sugar, but to sweeten it up, I'm gonna add some honey. And then I do like a sprinkle of cinnamon and something about the honey and cinnamon together actually makes me feel like I'm eating my oatmeal brown sugar. Like it tastes almost the same somehow. Mm -hmm. I feel like the honey gives it the, uh, you know how the, I, I guess butter kind of adds that element of the, like the textural element. Yeah. The honey kind of works its magic and way through there. And it just, uh, for lack of a better word, I feel like it just lubricates the <laughs> In a good way. Though. I was trying to think of like how to describe what the butter does to my oatmeal, and I was like, well, it just makes it so like buttery, and I couldn't think of another mm -hmm. word, but silky. Yeah. The butter I, makes it silky. I was going to say it silkens it. It does, yeah. but the honey gives it that same like yeah. effect. So, for our fruit, Bumpy has um, everything lined up so nicely over here, yeah. <laughs> but you we've got. To, you know, I had to play a little bit. So, we've got some blackberries and then some blueberries. I'm not big on blackberries just because I don't like all the seeds in there, but I love some blueberries. So we'll just add those into our bowl. I'm gonna give you all these blackberries, Monkey. Mm -hmm. You want all this in there? Yeah, yeah. I'll throw some blueberries. <laughs> and then I feel like not only are you getting like a healthier breakfast, it tastes amazing, but it's also so beautiful. I love like a good, pretty breakfast. So anyway, this is what we've been eating for the past couple days. We love it. There's breakfast, easy peasy. Okay, so we had our oatmeal, it was so good. We're gonna go run a couple of errands and I'll come back here and make some lunch with you guys. But first I wanna show you what I got in my Thrive Market order. And if you have never shopped on Thrive Market, it is an online membership-based grocery store. And they have an amazing selection of organic groceries, snacks, supplements. They have cleaning supplies, non-toxic beauty, personal care items. They have wine, meat, seafood, frozen veggies, just so many things to choose from. And like I told y'all, Bunky and I really wanna go into the new year with just 
healthier habits and getting into a really good routine. And part of that is like not going out to eat so much and cooking at home more and just eating healthier, wholesome meals, ingredients that are um, cleaner and just better for us. And something that I love is that they have it like broken down for you as far as like diets go. So if you want all organic or if you want gluten-free, if you were doing Whole30, they have those like categories and then you can click on them and they recommend like all the different food items that are compatible to those diets. And so it makes it very easy and streamlined. So if you guys have been around here, you know that we have really fallen in love with CSA chips. I usually get their tortilla chips. I saw these, they're salt and vinegar. If you don't know this about me, salt and vinegar potato chips are my absolute favorite. And so I cannot wait to try theirs. And then this is the salt that we always use. This says the greatest salt on earth. And Bunky and I have to agree, it really does just taste amazing and it's better for you. And so I always get a big package. And then y'all know I have my salt and my pepper shaker. <laughs> but what's in there is this Redmond Real Salt. So restocked that i got us some garlic paste i've actually never cooked with garlic paste i'm excited to try this i feel like it'll be really good in like some pasta recipes also got some pasta some rayos um we also have become really big fans of rayos just better ingredients their marinara some spray avocado oil since we are eating better we want to eat more salads and so i got this meyer lemon honey vinaigrette that sounds so good and just like bright and citrusy and fresh so we're very excited to try that one and i've always wanted to try primal kitchen and i was like let's get one of their dressings so we got the greek because we like to marinate our chicken also you know in greek dressing um so we're gonna try that one out so that's my little thrive market haul if you're looking for like some healthy swaps on your favorite snacks thrive market is a great place to find those also i feel like i always save money whenever i shop thrive market they already have really great prices but also they will price match so if you find something that's like cheaper somewhere else they will price match it to beat that price so they are incredible about that all orders over $49 ship for free they come right to your door so you don't even have to go to the grocery store you can do month to month like an annual membership it is truly such a gift and I'm so excited I got you guys such a great deal so if you go down and click my link in the description box it's thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Donahue you are going to get 30% off your first order and a free gift up to $60 in value so it is such a great offer. Now is the time to sign up, so be sure you go on there and click that link. It's so cold in our house, I like can't warm up. I think my nose is running, I'm actually so cold. We are going to make, this is my new favorite thing, right? Yeah, it is. I have had this. And she actually means that. I mean it. This is the third time this week I will be having this lunch, and it is so good. And I feel like something, when we're, Bunky and I are talking about like, how we want to be healthier this year. I feel like for us, it's more of like a low calorie, higher protein kind of lifestyle situation, if you will. Uh -huh. I was gonna call it a diet, but not a diet, lifestyle change. So anyway, I found this recipe and it's so good. Like, lots of my favorite things, favorite flavors. So this is the first time I'm gonna use air this, fryer chicken nuggets. That was by my request. Is this Bunky's request? I have just been doing it with like leftover grilled chicken or you can like pop some chicken tenderloins in the air fryer, like season them up and then like cook them that way. Um, you could do rotisserie chicken, like whatever chicken you want to, but I believe this is gonna make it even more delicious. First thing we're gonna do, pop these in the air fryer, cook them, but right before they're done, I'm actually gonna season them up a little bit, okay? Oh yeah. Okay, they're gonna be so good. So we'll get these cooking. Oh, you're not freezing. You have goosebumps on your arms. And we do need the scissors, boo. <laughs> like Christmas wrapping paper, y'all. Yes, that was good. No. I've had the air fryer chicken strips before, but not the nuggets. These are sure like the same. These are like twice fried. Yeah. I'm gonna do like um, four or five each. Yeah. I think I'll be good. Uh, I think I'm gonna need like a, at least a six count nugget. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Girl, that is like eight each, you silly goose. <laughs> you sitting there trying to say four or five, and then you put in like 12. How many is it? 15. This is fine. Okay. 15 nuggets. Okay. 
14. There we go. Okay. So when I had been doing like my leftover grilled chicken, I just like put it in a pan just to kind of like take the chill off and warm it up a little bit. And mm. then I season it. Even if we like marinated our grilled chicken in like Italian dressing or whatever, I'll use whatever grilled chicken we have because then once I like warm it up in the pan, I add a little sprinkle of my Kinder's Buffalo. If you don't have this, you can use whatever seasonings you want. Uh -huh. But I add this in right before my chicken is like almost done warming up. I sprinkled just a little bit of cheese on there to get that cheese to melt. So since we're making air fryer chicken nuggets for Bunky, uh -huh. we're gonna do the same thing and just let them like finish cooking for two minutes with our cheese and seasoning. You're, you're gonna put that cheese in the air fryer? I think it'll make it so melty. Oh yeah, that's, okay. that's exciting. So to our little nuggies, I'm just gonna literally sprinkle this kind of all over the place. Oh my gosh, what a dusting. And then I'll like shake them around so they get really good and coated. Y'all can probably kind of figure out where I'm going with all this, kind of. Mm. You're going with more? Oh, oh yeah, we need more, heavens. we need more monkey. My heavens. So, just gonna pile them up and then add like a little sprinkle of cheese to the top. Not too much, cause you know, we're watching. Cheese is good for you though. Watching our calories. I say not a lot and look at me go. You're, it's really not a lot though. You're really just uh, accommodating my wants and desires right now. <laughs> Let this melt and then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, now this is the star of the show. I did not know that I loved cottage cheese. Funky is actually a huge fan of cottage cheese and you'll like put um, peaches and stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, it's good with uh, like certain fruits and stuff. I don't go out of my way to eat cottage cheese, but when it's presented to me, yeah. I'm about it. So I have only ever used it whenever we make the re-drumming. Um, sour cream noodle bake which i love mm -hmm. and then besides that i really couldn't think of like a lot of times that i ever use cottage cheese but i decided to try it like this summer a couple months ago yep. with like um pretzels and i loved it so i've kind of like slowly started to incorporate it but this is going to be like our game changing ingredient in this lunch and i will say i love the good culture brand out of all the ones i've ever tried this stuff is the best cottage cheese. Like the texture is different. It's just like so. You can actually oh, see the difference. It's delicious. With your eyes. Yeah. And you can taste it with your mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. I would say like half a cup to a cup of cottage cheese. Honestly, how much, however much you want. And this is a great source of protein. I like it a lot, so I'm gonna put a little more, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll just throw you some uh, black pepper on there. No, you hang on now. I have a whole entire thing I, I do. Now, I have just like this garlic salt. So I do a little sprinkle of garlic salt. And this has a couple other little like the flavors in there. And then I take my ranch seasoning. Y'all see where this is going, it's so good. Let me pour out my hand. And you take just a sprinkle on top because that's gonna give this like almost your ranch consistency flavoring. Oh, okay. yes ma'am. Mix this up a little. Are you just like drooling already? Oh, girl. I mean, it's the best. This is like the most genius idea. Oh my gosh, look at those. <laughs> okay, all of our cheese like went to the bottom of our air fryer. So I did sprinkle on just like a little tiny bit more for us. Wow. It was good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can I just fry cheese in the air fryer? You really can, apparently. So now, for our last and final ingredient, take your favorite buffalo sauce, and I do a drizzle like all over my chicken, and basically I'll like mix this up, and it's almost like a healthier version, buffalo chicken dip, but you just eat it like this with a fork. So simple. I'm telling y'all, it is so good. If you think you don't like cottage cheese, try the good culture. Get you like a little bite like this. A little bit of cottage cheese, a little bit of chicken, and that buffalo sauce, and it is magical. It's like my favorite little lunch. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's like you just get in like such different I don't know, you got your crispy little chicken with buffalo and then you got the nice uh, cottage cheese element over there. The cottage cheese, like I told y'all, acts as your ranch. Monkey, I'm like, I'm drooling, I'm drooling. The 
Air fryer chicken nuggets actually make it even more like delicious and fun because you get that like crispy crunch in there. Those things look fantastic. Uh, chicken nuggets have come a long way. Yeah. Since we were growing up. Y'all, it's so good. And like the cottage cheese is cold and the chicken nuggets are warm. And it's just like mm -hmm. this insane. I know it like seems like the most simplest thing. But the flavors are amazing. It is like good for you. The satisfaction is serious. You have to try it. You have to try it and tell me what you think. I'm telling y'all, you will become obsessed like I am. And you'll eat it every single day like I have been. <laughs> Dude, it is so good. It's so good. Okay, I'm having a little afternoon snack. <laughs> and I just tried my Siete salt vinegar chips. If you're like me and you love salt vinegar chips, you have to try these. They are delicious and look these are the only few ingredients in this entire bag they are so good they're crunchy they have the perfect like little sea salt vinegar balance okay we're gonna get started on dinner i already went ahead and put on my jammies i was like i am ready to get cozy it has been cold all day dinner is not gonna be quite as healthy but it is healthier and it's a dish that we love although i feel like anytime we make some sort of like pesto chicken we do it different every single time but usually the same ingredients of some sort <laughs> tonight we are bringing you a chicken fusilli pasta pesto creamy mashup of tasteful renderations. Oh, that was good. I like it, Funky. I'm going to add a little Parmesan in there, too. With a Parmesan sprinkle. Okay, okay. I'm okay. I love it. So, uh, what is step one? We have the pan heating which is going to be where we cook the chicken. Yep. We got some water coming to a boil, which is where we're going to boil the pasta. That's right, Bunky. So I have a little bit of oil heating up in my pan. I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken in there. I'm just going to season my chicken with a little bit of this like Italian salad dressing seasoning mix. Oh, it's called Good Seasons. Yes, it actually is very good. Mm -hmm. And then maybe a little bit of the blend. I don't want it to be too salty because sometimes pesto can be salty. Um, and we just want to get our chicken kind of seasoned cook through in our pan we'll take it out and then like assemble our pasta in here Y'all will have to tell me down in the comments if you have any really good like New Year's goals as well. I won't say that it's going to be full on healthy cooking over here because you know at the end of the day we're still the monkeys and we still love some good down home cooking, okay? That's right. But we do want to start making just some better choices and eating better when and where we can. Maybe like sprinkle a vegetable in every now and then eating way more vegetables so we are going to start sharing that i hope you guys are excited to see that if you want to see some healthier recipes on our channel be sure to tell us below because yeah. we hope that's what you guys want as well but down here for dinner chicken is almost done so i'm going to get it out of this pan and kind of let it rest this i think just still has just a couple more minutes and i'm going to reserve some of this pasta water so i can use it to kind of make our sauce even creamier and more delicious Okay, I'm going to leave all of that in there because that's going to make our sauce even better. But I'm just going to remove this from the heat until our pasta is done. And then once this cools for a second, um, I'll go ahead and just cut it into bite-sized pieces. Now it is sauce making time. And y'all, I love making different sauces. Like, that's one of my favorite parts of cooking. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel like that's like my thing? It is, yeah. Okay, add my pasta here. Oh. I'm just going to add it in. Well drained. Yes. Okay, then to that, I have my Rayo's pesto that I got in my Thrive order. I'm just going to add probably, we'll start with like two heaping tablespoons. Yeah. I'm going to add a little splash of my pasta water. And then just start kind of like getting all that incorporated. I'm actually going to add another tablespoon. Mm, I love pesto. It smells so good. It tastes amazing. I never knew till later in life, you know, how much I love pesto. Okay, I'm going to add a teeny tiny little drizzle of cream. That's good. Okay, just a teeny tiny drizzle more. 
a big squeeze of lemon. I just lost the seed somewhere. Uh oh. Oh no! I gotta find it. I'm gonna add a little bit more pasta water. Do you wanna show them your tomatoes? Oh yeah. They're happy tomatoes. <laughs> Y'all know to my bunkie loves fewer things than a warm tomato. Mm. It's just like, it's like you, when you leave them whole like that and then they're heated up, it's like you get the experience of uh, a tomato sauce in a way. Yeah. But it is like burst. They burst, yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna add tomatoes in. I don't feel like any pasta is complete without some cracked black pepper. Y'all, that seasoning packet that's on that chicken, it is amazing. It didn't marinate or anything, and it just tastes incredible. This is nice, it's kinda like one pot dinner. Minus like, you know, cooking your pasta on the side. Last thing, I'm gonna add in the last little bit of this pasta water, because we're gonna put a copious, is that the right word? Oh yeah. Copious. I love that. That's a good word, right? Build, a, build a mountain of Parmesan for us. <laughs> we're building a copious mountain of Parmesan cheese, and we want to just be silky smooth, amazing. Do you want me to start tossing a little bit? Yeah, you can. And this is the good parm. Is like it, this is the expensive stuff. And then you know what I want to do after you've done this? What? Once it's in our bowls, more. Add more. Parm. Oh yeah. Twenty bunches of those. That's me. Yes. Thank you. What's Daisy May doing? Now that is a shocker. She must be tired from her walk. Okay, how good does that look? I'm so excited. My mouth is watering. Delicious, easy, little like 30 minute meal, full of flavor. Mm, I cannot wait. You know what I'm looking at this dying laughing about? What? I think um, we might have to work on portion control. <laughs> well, and when I was pouring that into these bowls, I was like, I think we could have easily had a whole another serving for tomorrow. I was thinking that we would have leftover. Mmm, that's nice. It's good? Mm-hmm. I often say this, but this is very simple and comes together quick and it's deceptively good. Like you present this to somebody, they're gonna think you spent a whole lot more time cooking this than you actually did. So good, like I love it. Yeah. And the chicken in there is like so filling. Pesto is full of flavor. You know, those mm -hmm. little bursts of your tomatoes. Mm-hmm. And then the lemon just makes it very bright. Mm-hmm. And it's not, uh, you know, really cheese or dairy based. No. So that's a nice touch as well. Yeah. Ignore our mess back here. Bunky is, um, he just finished cutting out all of the wall. Mm-hmm. He's going to finish painting, hopefully tomorrow. So soon enough, you all will see a completed. I think my camera cut off. But basically when he was saying, we're gonna have a finished painted wall mm -hmm. and all of the mess is gonna be gone. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow or the next day. But y'all, you have to make this. It's so stinking delicious, I can't get over it. Like, this is gonna be super rotation. Dinner was delicious. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I am gonna have one Reese cup for dessert tonight. It is like my thing lately. I don't know what it is. Actually, I do know what it is. Bunky and I went to Walmart, this was like two weeks ago, and I got a pack of Reese's Cups. They were the freshest, most delicious Reese's Cups I've ever tasted in my entire life. And ever since those, every time we go to the grocery store, I get a pack of Reese's Cups. I've become just like obsessed with them. So I'm gonna have one tonight for dinner, or after dinner for dessert, okay? All about balance around here. <laughs> anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed today and I hope it gave you some recipe inspo. And if you want to see more like what I eat in the day videos, let us know in the comments. We'll be happy to make them. It was like really fun. I enjoyed doing it today. Yeah, it was. It was nice. So if you want to see more, let us know. Tell us also what kind of recipes you guys want to see this year. I love you so much. Do not forget to check out Thrive down below. Such a great offer for you. If you're new, we would love for you to join our family. So before you leave, hit that subscribe button, give this one a thumbs up, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.